4,000 years ago, Bronze Age man lived in Warburton. How do we know he lived in Warburton? Because of this, a Bronze Age axe, ritual in nature, lost here at the site, 2000 BC, 4,000 years ago. But as well as the Bronze Age, an exciting Roman settlement also existed at Warburton, with a Roman fort on the hillside, surrounded by a small Roman village. Who knows, burials may occur here of the Roman people themselves, and we'll be looking for evidence such as this. Join me as we roam around Warburton. So far this evening we've looked at how the people in the Warburton area lived during the Roman days. But one thing needs to be found if we were to make these theories correct. That is evidence. Evidence as in artefacts. Bronze, iron, pottery, glass. All left behind by the Roman people. The use of the metal detector here at Warburton has been an invaluable research tool, allowing me to map the finds as they come out of the ground. This gives us a concentration of artefacts and ties in with the resistivity surveys, giving us a neat plan of the whole settlement. Without the metal detector, none of this would have been found. If this hadn't have been found, the Roman fortwood would still lie under the fields, unknown. Only a couple of weeks ago this magnificent Roman pendant was recovered by Brian while searching the site for me. Just take a look at this splendid Roman jewellery, brooches worn by the ancient people of Roman Warburton. This brooch is known as a Polden Hill brooch, just look at the decoration on it. You can still see the remains of the bronze pin and spring that once held the brooch in place. This brooch is one of the most important Roman brooches to come from Warburton known as a hot hill brooch and dating to between 50 AD and 70 AD. It still retains much of its gold decoration on the surface and the catch plate is still intact. Here we can see two of the most important Roman coins to come from Warburton, 
On the left, a Cistercius of Hadrian, and on the right, a Denarius, dated to 118 BC. The Bronze Age diminutive axe dated to 2000 BC, and one of my favourite finds from the site to date. We even found the remains of a bronze Roman bracelet, although most of it is now gone. It's amazing to think what critical evidence lies below the ground here at Warburton, but judging on the artefacts already recovered from the site, I can promise you an exciting excavation this year. More artefacts will be found, proving that the Romans did indeed live in Warburton. <laughs>